When was the golden age of LEGO Mindstorms? In its two decade long history, it had four generations, the RCX, the NXT, the EV3, and finally, Spike Prime. Today, I'm defining the golden age as the time period in LEGO Mindstorms which will be most fondly remembered by the most of us. Personally, I believe that the NXT was the golden age of LEGO Mindstorms, and today I'll be presenting 10 reasons for why this is the case. This video is actually done with collaboration with BuilderDude35, who's a legendary LEGO Mindstorms YouTuber, and he believes that the golden age of LEGO Mindstorms is the EV3. After watching this video, I highly recommend you check out BuilderDude35's video. He presents some awesome arguments for why EV3 is the golden age of LEGO Mindstorms. Without any further ado, let's begin. At number 10, we have High Technic Third Party Sensors. This was a company that worked directly together with the official LEGO company to produce sensors for the LEGO Mindstorms NXT system. They had an abundance of various different sensors, but their two most useful ones are the gyro sensor and the infrared receiver. This is the High Technic HTWA Segway, and on one side it has the infrared receiver, and on the other side it has the High Technic gyro sensor. It uses the gyro sensor to balance itself upright. It is a essentially a two-wheeled inverted pendulum that you can also control using a power functions remote. So many fans of LEGO Mindstorms were constantly designing LEGO Mindstorm segways, and the high technic gyro sensor is definitely one of the reasons for why there were so many segways created. One man by the name of Lawrence Valk, who's a mechanical engineering student, actually has a blog called Robot Square. He became very well known through designing a ton of LEGO segways, and his most influential one is the Anyway Segway. What made the segway so appealing is that without even having to understand the balance code, you could easily customize all of the actions of the robot. This was just revolutionary, it was truly incredible. The High Technic Infrared Receiver for Remote Control and the High Technic Gyro Sensor were two of the best sensors in the NXT era. At number 9 for the NXT, we have a greater availability of free projects. There is actually a website called nxtprograms.com and it had a grand total of over 90 free projects for the NXT. And this is absolutely insane and many fans, including myself, built pretty much all of these free projects. NXT programs actually taught me some of the more advanced techniques of coding in LEGO Mindstorms. Lawrence Valk on his blog would always publish free NXT projects like the RoboDog and so many more. There was just an abundance of free projects that were also really high quality with the NXT. I just want to say if you're enjoying this video so far, then make sure to subscribe so that way you can learn all about LEGO Technic. I make videos about the rarest LEGO Technic pieces of all time, LEGO Power Functions vs LEGO Powered Up, and so much more. If you want to learn all about LEGO Technic, then make sure to subscribe. But no pressure, no pressure. At number 8 we have NXC Programming. This stands for Not Exactly C, which is a programming language based on C and can teach you easily how to transition from LEGO Mindstorms into C, C++, Robot C, and so many more different programming languages. John C. Hansen developed the programming language called NXC and he published a very comprehensive book describing how to get started with NXC, how to program basic programs, how to implement it in more advanced ways, and so much more. This book is just incredible and right now John C. Hansen is actually a consulting engineer at Aspect Software. At number 7 we have the sound and temperature sensor. The sound sensor specifically was developed for the NXT back in 2006 and this sensor is just legendary. Many Mindstorms enthusiasts were actually using this set to recognize words and use it for voice controlled robots. You could program the NXT to recognize basic phrases like go, turn left and turn right. This sound sensor was absolutely incredible. We also have the LEGO Mindstorms temperature sensor. This sensor was developed for LEGO Mindstorms NXT education and the sensor was pretty incredible. However, in my opinion, the sound sensor is a lot cooler. For my next reason, we have the LEGO Mindstorms NXT books. There were so many of these published and I personally own a ton of them. There was also a ton of books published for the EV3, but book publishing by the LEGO Mindstorms community really began with the NXT era, as in the RCX era, there was barely any books published. Maybe only a couple, but 
Not a lot. With the Lego Maestros NXT, there was tens, if not maybe a hundred different books published by the community. And all of these books gave you so much inspiration, so much tutorials, so much guides on how to program, how to make your robots way more advanced. These books really taught me a lot about the world of Lego Mindstorms. And I personally cannot stress enough just how thankful I am for all of the books published in the NXT era. Many fans who published EV3 books also had experience writing NXT books, so NXT really gave way into book publishing. My next reason for why NXT is the golden age of LEGO Mindstorms is that it was actually featured on National Geographic on an episode of Mega Factories. Lawrence Volk's legendary robot, the Snatcher, was actually featured on this episode of National Geographic. That was pretty incredible and Lawrence Volk became one of the biggest if not the biggest community member of LEGO Mindstorms. Being featured on National Geographic made the NXT become iconic. Even if you didn't know anything about LEGO Mindstorms, you could still easily recognized the NXT. It was very iconic at the time. In the NXT era of LEGO Mindstorms, we also got the special edition Black NXT. This was made to commemorate the 10th anniversary of LEGO Mindstorms, and there was only 1,998 copies of this Black NXT made as an homage to the year 1998, which is the same year LEGO Mindstorms was released. The Black NXT is one of the coolest parts about LEGO Mindstorms. A sealed copy of the LEGO Mindstorms Black NXT on Bricklink goes for $165. That is incredibly expensive, so the Black NXT is a very rare thing. Reason number three, many great minds became very well known through the NXT. Specifically, David Gilday designed the Mind Cuber for the LEGO Mindstorms NXT 2.0, which was essentially a robot that could solve a Rubik's Cube. It was pretty incredible. After that, he became so well known that he continued to redesign the Mind Cuber, he made one for the EV3, and finally he made one for the LEGO Mindstorms Spike Prime system. David Gilday became a legend in the LEGO Mindstorms community, all because of the NXT. He designed the Mind Cuber originally for the NXT and then he became such a legend that he continued to redesign and continued to make his name heard and even today he remains one of the most well-known members of the community. Lawrence Valk, another legend of the LEGO Mindstorms community, originally became known through the NXT and designing various different LEGO Segway robots for the NXT. Then he designed the Balancer robot for the EV3, he published a book, the EV3 Discovery book, which sold many, many copies. He also worked on the LEGO Mindstorms BB-8 project and so many more different LEGO enthusiasts became very well known from the NXT. At reason number two for why NXT is the golden age is that NXT was the most popular generation from LEGO Mindstorms history. As you can see, here's a graph of worldwide YouTube search trends for the keyword Mindstorms. As you can see, the NXT era is just slightly more popular than the EV3. And if we take a look at another graph of web search trends from 2004 until present of the keyword Mindstorms worldwide, to the left you can see there was a massive peak in 2006. This was when the NXT 1.0 was released, the NXT generation was released, and here on this graph you can see that both the NXT and the EV3 were pretty popular, but 2006 does have that massive outlier peak, which shows that there was clearly a ton of interest for the NXT 1.0. And the number one reason for why NXT is the golden age of LEGO Mindstorms is the boom in LEGO Segways. In November of 2009, which is the same year that the NXT 2.0 was released, Stephen J. Whitson submitted a bachelor thesis for engineering titled Coordinated LEGO Segways. In his thesis, he explained everything, how to make your own LEGO Segway, he wrote down all of the equations, he explained how to use behavioral programming, how to use the PID controller, and so much more. His his thesis is incredibly detailed and I highly recommend reading about it if you're interested in two-wheeled inverted pendulums like LEGO Segways. Because of this bachelor thesis, so many fans would make different various Segways, specifically my favorite is the Anyway Segway for LEGO NXT, developed by Lawrence Valk, and it is incredibly stable, it is incredibly awesome. I love LEGO Mindstorms Segways, many fans including myself remember LEGO Segways being the highlight of LEGO Mindstorms and many videos got hundreds of thousands of views for LEGO Segways and one video published by Rich Thompson got nearly a million views for a LEGO Segway. It is pretty incredible, LEGO Segways were very popular at the time and I'd even argue that the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 Education Gyro Boy was developed only because of the popularity of the LEGO Mindstorms NXT Segways.
If you personally believe that the EV3 was the golden age of LEGO Mindstorms, then check out BuilderDude35's video on why EV3 is the golden age of LEGO Mindstorms. Be sure to check out my reasons on why the LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor set 51515 has some key advantages over the EV3 system. This is your Unbrick Me here, and I'll see you in the next one.